Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, December 9th. And I remind you, lots of great stuff is at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us during this Christmas season for worship every Sunday at 1030, Christmas Eve service at 5 o'clock p.m. My scripture today is Matthew 24, verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will not pass away. This is the word of the Lord. Recently, there was an amazing discovery in Romania. An old, old church had a room that had been sealed and when they opened it, to their amazement, there were 134 books ranging in dates from the 13th century all the way back to the 9th century. And they were in wonderful condition, all things considered. This is a treasure trove. And... One of the things that scholars are eager to explore, these books might actually change our understanding of European history, at least some of it, because as you know, it is always the victors that write the history. And these books, maybe, maybe not, could reveal many things about uh, 9th and 10th, <clears throat> 11th century history that we were not aware of, or it will fill out our knowledge. Isn't it wonderful that we can make discoveries such as these to help us know more about where we came from, but also to fill out our knowledge? It reminds me of how important the Word of God is to us. Some people say, is the Bible reliable? Did you know that there are more corroborating texts for the Bible than there are for almost any other ancient writing. In fact, the Iliad and the Odyssey don't have nearly the substantiation as does the Bible. When we talk about Chinese dynasties, very often when we go back into ancient times, we're relying on one or two very sketchy sources. The Bible is very reliable, but even more so than that. It is the Word of God. And if we explore God's Word diligently, why, we may not change history, but we certainly can change our histories and our legacies for the better. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this rich discovery, which helps us understand our roots but we pray that we would continue to actually study, learn, and embrace your holy word. So reliable and blessed that it is. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.